What's going on guys here at the garage? Today is the 13th of January. It is Saturday. It's 11 a.m. We open up in about an hour. I got here a little bit earlier just because I wanted to just because I wanted to take care of some stuff in the front. We had some stuff pending last night that I didn't get uh, to take care of. So I finished everything up this morning. Got some games up there that I priced and I'm putting out. And I got a few more things I wanted. I need to uh, process. But I'll take care of that right now just because I wanted to get rid of the packages already. We have about nine packages to do. We just got in a thermal printer. I'm excited about this. I'm about to set it up. Got the labels right here. And then we got some of the eBay orders right here as well. So this week has been pretty good we've been getting a lot of stuff in i have not been recording unfortunately i've just been so busy uh usually we use our gopro but uh i just got in a second phone which i'm going to use i'm going to link it to the business phone so whenever they call the store um they're going to call this phone so if i'm out and about in mccallan or out of town or at home if they call the store they'll call this number so i can be able to i'm able to answer everybody able to send messages uh receive pictures stuff like that so i'm excited about that we're now we have another phone specifically for the business which i'm pumped about so that happened this week and then we also got in a bunch of trade-ins i wish i would have recorded but it's whatever it's all good uh so we still have a good amount of the good of i guess the better stuff out there we got in some honestly some grails some 360 and ps3 grails we got in a psp in box i didn't even record that and it sold yesterday we put it out yesterday morning and then it sold like that so um crazy i think we sold it for like 175 a blue psp in box insane i wish i'd have recorded it. it was so clean it was it was like never used pretty much it, it was so mint but it's all good we still have a lot of good stuff out there and then we did get some more trainings yesterday we got a bunch of clothing as well we bought a uh, some bundles and then um what else and then my buddy mike dropped off some stuff as well so i'm excited about that we'll go through that later we are going to try to do a renovation this weekend like i said today is saturday so starting tomorrow through wednesday we're going to try to do as much as we can if we can uh, i just need to find some more material but we're going to move stuff around i'll go over that later later today later in this video just um so you guys can see like the idea behind it but yeah right now i'm gonna uh work on the packages get this all over with and after i'm done with this i'll show you guys everything up front and i'm excited to have this phone because now i can record with i guess better quality usually we use the gopro but um i don't know i just i think the phone's gonna be cool i'll use the gopro for uh flea market videos and stuff like that or maybe i use a gopro to set it up for negotiations i don't know i'll see how i do it but now we have this phone so i can do i can use this for like the smaller clips all right so i already got it all set up it's sick this is going to be very convenient it's going to be a lot faster for me to do packages especially now that we're doing whatnot i don't know if i mentioned that but we did we are doing whatnot now we did a live earlier this week we sold a, f a few things we didn't do any auctions we were just kind of like testing the water seeing how to how to make quick buy nows on the on the listings and how to add an auction and a, and this and that trying to like just getting our feet wet pretty much so now that we're doing whatnot obviously we're going to do a lot more packages aside from ebay and uh, it's gonna be a lot faster a lot more convenient a lot uh more efficient so i'm excited about that really good pickup right here i'm glad we got this but um yeah i just got it set up now i gotta organize this and uh yeah i'm gonna start doing these packages uh, let me just go through these real quick we sold god of war collection for the ps3 for the ps3 we sold transformers war for cybertron we sold the gta trilogy for the original xbox we sold this 3ds we listed this one at 100 shipped on ebay and it sold like in like 10 seconds i'm not even kidding we sold that and then we sold this dead stock kansas city chiefs starter sweater this is the black label starter as you can see it is dead stock this one's really nice and then we sold this bills buffalo bills doug flutie nike jersey this one's insane doug flutie legend if you know you know on the nike team tabs tag says xl i'm gonna get this one package i think this one sold for like 50 bucks crazy crazy this crazy pickup i think i got this for like five bucks at the flea market i'm not even kidding but um yeah really good pickups right there really good sales really good orders going out i'm gonna get these all packaged up and uh i'm gonna try to be quick because it's already i think like 11 30 let's see it's already 11 35 so i gotta start working on all this stuff and get the front ready what's going on guys here at the garage today is tuesday it is 12 55 tuesday Jan january 16th we just got to the shop well we got here a while back but we're starting to work on some stuff uh yesterday i believe it was yesterday, it was yesterday? no yesterday 
we started renovations at the shop. I have not been recording the last week or two. It's just been super busy. We've been getting a lot of trade-ins, a lot of clothes coming in, and we've kind of just been getting ready slowly for this moment as far as the renovation. We did, we moved everything around already. The only thing that's pending is some installations of some, some fixtures and stuff like that that I'll show you guys right now. But um, yeah, it's been a pretty good last two weeks. A lot of sales, a lot of orders on eBay. Uh, playoffs started, so we got to get everybody that's still in the playoffs right now. Uh, games happened these past few days. Teams lost, teams advanced. So whoever advanced, go. so whoever advanced, we got to start posting all that stuff. And whoever still, whoever didn't, we'll probably just like discount it, start moving it, and start getting ready for basketball and all this stuff and the Super Bowl. So, um, but yeah, so that's the stuff we're gonna have to start getting into when it comes to inventory. But we did renovations, and I'm gonna show you guys. It is a mess, obviously, because we're still uh, kind of setting everything up. But I'm excited. It's gonna be a new setup. It looks more spacious in here. I have a lot of ideas. Guy has a lot of ideas. Ebony has a lot of ideas that we want to implement into this new uh, design for the store. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So this is the new setup. So we got a little U area for the video game stuff. This is the gaming section on this side now. And then that side's gonna be all the clothing. Right now, guys, helping me take down all the posters, all the pendants, all that stuff to get it off so we can install racks. We're gonna install racks on the wall over there. So we're gonna take care of that right now. Oh, we got a bunch, all the clothes right here. Got Ikea bags full of stuff. Clothes right here that we had to take off. But yeah, we're gonna mount everything on that side. This side, we kind of have an idea of putting like a TV setup like a little like retro living room, how it looks back in like the 90s, have the old CRTV, probably put some little decorations of like some old school stuff and maybe add a little seat right here. I mean, putting the racks on the wall just makes more space for us to work with, kind of like mess with. But um, yeah, it's gonna look good, I'm excited. So this is like the clothing area on this side. I'm trying to back up a little bit as much as I can. And then this is the video game side. So we, kind of shortened up the space for the video game stuff but the thing is video games don't take up as much space as clothing does and it's display cases and these display cases are where all the game stuff is so it starts from here so we have all this all that we're probably gonna move the consoles on this side and all the bangers all the the grills from over here are gonna put them on that side just kind of switch that and then obviously all the games are gonna be on this side we're gonna add another shelf right here in front of this mirror sorry this window so the sunlight doesn't go through and hit our stuff over there and doesn't cause any sun damage but um yeah i'm, ex I'm ex really liking the way it's looking it's a lot of you know different it's a different setup which i'm excited about it's gonna look good i think everyone's gonna love it and enjoy it as much as i will i'm excited to really add new stuff and really work with the space the new space we have mix it up make it look good but yeah i mean i don't know when i'm gonna post this video but um, if you guys want to give me ideas, let me know what I should add, what we should put in here, uh, things we can, you know, kind of do to, you know, make it better in here. Let me know what's up. That's all I'm going to show right now. Uh, once we're done setting up the racks on the wall and putting the clothes on the wooden hangers that we ordered, uh, I'll turn the camera back on and show you guys how it looks. All right. So it's already, I want to say like six o'clock, maybe. Let me check. It's already 614. Uh, we finished the rack a while back. Uh, but we, we finished it and then we started going through the clothes, getting them on wooden hangers. And then we left to go meet up with someone to get, uh, a special, I guess, item, I want to call it, uh, for the store. I'll talk about that later, but I want to show you guys how it looks. That is how the rack looks. It looks really nice. Obviously not all our clothes are up yet. And we're going to also have a different, uh, rack, maybe like one of these smaller racks in the corner or right here. We're going to figure it out. We're going to set it up really nice. But that's how it is so far. Like I said, we need more wooden hangers. We don't have uh, enough for all the pieces we have. But I do have another box or two at the house. So I'm going to bring that tomorrow and finish up putting the rest. And then we'll see how we do it, right? Because obviously we're not going to have all the hangers yet. But um, we're probably going to have to use regular hangers for now until we get a new shipment in. But yeah, that's how it looks. Looks really nice. I'm excited. Looks really good. Uh, it came out really nice. I'm, I'm glad. It took us a little while uh, just because one of... One of these bars was, well, not bars, but the, uh, what do you call them? Anchors or whatever you want to call them uh, that, that hold the bar. Like one of them was stuck, like one of the, the screws. So I was trying to get it leveled. I think it was this one. I was trying to get it leveled, but the top screw would not come out for some reason. So I just had to like kind of jerry rig it and figure it out. 
but we got it up nice and straight and good it looks really nice obviously we're going to put some wooden uh some wood boards on top to put like put like decorated up there or whatever but yeah that's how it looks so far um i don't know what else i was gonna say but that's pretty much it with that and like i said we did get some other stuff some other pieces that we're gonna add in here but we're working on just clearing this up guys I'm gonna go through this right now i'm gonna start working on packages i'm gonna go to the back and show you guys what's sold on ebay all right so i'm gonna go through all the orders that are going out today a lot of good sales um two three four five six seven eight pieces i think we have one more but i need to find it nine actually one more but i need to find it in the front but i'll go to the right now just because i want to get this over with get all these packages done so i can continue working up there uh first game that sold was just dance 2014 for the wii u then we got legos Dimen lego dimensions for the ps4 test drive unlimited for the ps2 god of war for the psp we have Mega Man 5 sealed for the gba this one sold for 100 ship we had it at 120 had it for a while they sent us an offer for 100 we accepted it right away because we just want to move it we sold blitz the league 2 for the ps3 this one was one of those those banger titles we got in uh i think last week we got a bunch of really good titles this was one of them this one sold uh we also sold super smash melee for the gamecube no manual unfortunately but still sold i think for like 60 shipped 65 shipped if i'm not mistaken we also sold this game boy color as well i think this one sold for 75 shipped if i'm not mistaken and then we sold this Packers crew neck. Really nice pieces on that Lee Sport tag. This is that, that line I really like. Um, the person who bought this actually messaged us saying, hey, I lost my other crew neck. Uh, I was wondering if you can ship this out ASAP so I can get it by this weekend for the game. I'd really appreciate that because they just beat the Cowboys. So now they're moving on. I don't know who they're playing against. I think the Niners, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, you know, really excited to ship these out. I'm going to start working on them. Get them done. Like I said, we got to finish up the front. We still have a lot to do. It already, it's already 6 p.m. Um, just, you know, time is time is against us right now. But it's whatever. We'll get it done. Hopefully, we can get most of it done and get it organized. So, at least tomorrow, we just come in and just hang up the rest of the pieces, do a reel or two, and then open up for the day. Um, it is going to be really cold tomorrow, like maybe like 30s. So, maybe we won't open. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know how it's going to look. We'll see. We'll see. Kind of feel it out. But as of right now, we're opening up. Well, uh, unless honestly unless we don't finish up getting this store ready we'll probably just have to postpone for another day i mean it's cold anyway so i feel like nobody will pull up regardless but we'll see what's up we'll play by ear and uh yeah it's pretty much it for right now if anything else goes down i'll turn the camera back on what's going on guys here at the garage today is wednesday we closed up for the day just because we saw a lot to do here at the shop we had a lot of renovations a lot of uh what's it called I guess organization as well. We had a lot of shirts that we need to put up. Price. We got to get some wood hangers we left at the house. But uh, you guys saw the racks yesterday, right? So this was all set up already yesterday. We put that, put all that up. We got our stuff, a lot of stuff all over the floor, but we already picked it all up. Obviously, there's still some more, we have, more work we have to do. We have to take care of this, and we have to take care of this area. And obviously, the gaming area is a little messy. But we're going to take care of that, get most of it done tonight, and then we'll come in early tomorrow when we open uh tomorrow which is thursday we'll come in take care of all that and we'll be ready for the day I just want to show you guys real quick i guess i can end like a walk-in so this is the front obviously right uh we did update the sign so the sign looks really good uh this the corner part of the sign was like flopping over but we got it replaced we added uh we took off the sports clothing we just put vintage video games added the number on top and put the instagram and facebook right here on the bottom so hopefully that gets us more you know traffic online on the socials and then i think we're gonna paint some stuff over here as well maybe it's like a mario a nike logo jordan i don't know we'll figure it out see how we can uh just make it kind of like like an eye catcher you know and then we do have some more older racks that we're trying to get rid of we're asking 100 for all this the two racks and all the hangers it's like 300 hangers but uh we have people messaging us but nobody's pulled up uh, so we got that and then we did update the door so now we're only open wednesday through saturday and close we're close sunday through tuesday so we took care of that. It looks a lot, looks a lot better up front. So this is the front. You walk in, and then you come into like a whole new store. It looks really nice. I wish I can get a better angle of it. I'm just I just feel like I'm too close. But yeah, we got a. Uh, this is gonna move. We're gonna take care of that. But we got the bottom rack. We got whites and blacks right here. Then we got some puffers. And then up here, it's uh, we put these whites up there just because they're super long. We don't want them hitting the ground. Uh, and then we got all the colors and then we go into the jerseys and crew necks right here so it looks really nice we got everything on wooden hangers now uh we went with black just because we feel like 
uh, it's different. From, we like the color. Uh, we we're going to get brown ones, but uh, we just decided on the black. We just think it looks, looks sick. So we got all those. The only issue with black hangers is we, there's like none at Walmart or, or Target. So we have to like order them on eBay. So we ran out. We're going to have to order some more. It's going to take a few days. But once we get them in, we're going to put out some more pieces. Uh, so we got that. And then we got the shelf full of vintage snapbacks. These are all washed and reshaped. They look really nice. And then we got a lot more coming through. Uh, I'm pro we're probably going to put some more here. We have these just for display right now. But we're probably going to put some more hats right here. And then we got some Ninja Turtles on here that are for sale. And then we got these up here that are not for sale. Uh, all those cereals, are, those are all my personals. And actually that Supreme Weedy, should we sell it? I'll, I guess we'll see what it's going for. No, we just leave it there. Yeah, we'll just leave it for display. Uh, but yeah, I got like eight LeBrons at the house. Just because, you know, you never know. And then we got the TV set up. Got the SpongeBob TV up here. We got the Wii on the side. Got the guitar plugged in. This is that. What's the name of that show? Ali and or Amy and the the guitar. Ali and AJ. There you go. That Disney show. We have the box in the back, but uh, we have the Wii guitar right here. Got the bongos. These do not work, but we have them for display. Everything for here is not. Everything here is not for sale. Oh, we have the sign right there. Shout out to a guy. He did that right now. Uh, we got the TV, the Wii. We got some books right here, some strategy guides. Really cool pieces. And then we got some VHSs and some DVDs. Got some comics and some, uh, what are those? Like coloring books? Yeah, there's some coloring books right there. Got a Larry Bird framed picture right there. A lunchbox, Houston Astros. And then we got an NES and a PSP box. And then we added, for aesthetics, we added a PSP manual there as well. Uh, looks really cool i'm excited about this we're gonna have this on people are gonna be able to play uh, guitar hero the idea here is we're gonna have a bench right here where you can sit down and game so uh, you can sit down play whatever you want we're gonna change it to one week it's gonna be a wii we'll change it to a ps2 then to a and who knows i mean we'll, we'll mix it around we'll, we'll have fun with it make it look nice but that's the idea for that and then right here obviously we have some clothes right here that we're gonna move but in here if you pick this up let's let it down uh, this is going to be our $5 chest. So everything in here is 5 bucks. We have shirts, hoodies, crewnecks, uh, jerseys, stuff like that. A lot of it is our $5 inventory. And then we added a bunch of stuff that we brought down from our regular price racks. We don't have space for like a $5 rack specifically. So we added this chest. We picked this up, I want to say, yesterday. This was that, that little piece we were going to add that I said I would mention later. Um, really sick. I'm excited about this. I know this is going to move fairly quick. And we're, we're going to be restocking this consistently we'll make reels showing what we're gonna put out but i'm excited about that and then obviously it goes into all the video game stuff we got our display cases like an l shape right here we got i'm thinking about putting all the consoles on this side and then putting on like the higher dollar pieces the higher dollar games and the controllers and stuff on that end just because i don't know i feel like it'll kind of fit more i don't know we'll see how we'll do that and obviously we got the games right here and then we got the shelf full of boxed consoles so that's all stuff we're gonna be uh, working on as far as tomorrow morning. But that's just a quick walkthrough to, through the new setup. It's really sick, I'm excited. Love how it looks. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see how it goes tomorrow. Hopefully we get a bunch of customers. It has been cold lately. So I feel like today, nobody would really pull up even if we were open just because of the weather. But it should be a lot warmer tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get a bunch of sales, some trade-in, stuff like that. and. We'll see y'all then. We got a guy out here doing some shaping. He's working on the brims. He's trying to adjust them, see if we can mess around with them. Nah, this one's gonna be tough. Yeah, that one's sick. Yeah. That one's clean. All right, so we'll go around. All right, so we did get a bunch of trade-ins, like I said. Found some DS, 3DS titles. We got this one in. This one's a good one. Transformers Fall of Cybertron. It does have a slip cover, complete in box. This one's really clean. Uh, we got this in, and then I posted it on the Instagram on our story, and it sold for forty five, like in like a minute or two. We had two people interested. One of us, one of them, sent us the money. So you know, first come, first serve. He sent the money. It's his. So we're gonna put that aside, and then we did get some trade-ins as well. Uh, console wise, we got a God of War PS three console in with the matching controller really good condition and then we got a ps2 slim and then we got the halo 5 xbox one edition this one is sick really clean actually uh the person that sold us these 
we sold these to him. Like he traded them back. He's gonna be moving out of town if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's moving, so he said he's just trying to offload right now. But um, really good stuff. I'm excited about this one. This one's going for a decent amount on eBay. So we're gonna list all these ASAP once I'm done recording. And then uh, let me jump to the DS games. We got Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS. We got Donkey Kong Country Returns for the 3DS. Mario Kart for the DS. Mario Bros. Pokemon Soul Silver. Super Mario 3D Land. We got Super Mario Maker 3DS. Super Mario DS for the Super Mario 64 for the DS. And then we got Zelda Triforce Heroes for the 3DS. These are all cart only. That's how they came. And then we have the boxes for these two. Now we gotta go look for these. Hopefully we can find some boxes soon. And then we did get some Switch games as well. We got Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. And then we got Pokemon Sword. Really good titles. Uh, and then right here we got Street Fighter V, Black Ops 2, Rayman Origins, Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS5. And then we got this Modern Warfare 2 Steelbook. This one is brand new, sealed. He brought us the game for this one as well. This one he brought it in, I want to say last week or two weeks ago. And then now we have the Steelbook so pretty cool this one is sealed like i said then we also did get some vita games these are all loose but y'all can take a look there they're all in really good condition excited to put these out uh the person that sold us the ds stuff he told me that he had a vita as well that he was looking to sell so that'd be awesome if we can get that in just because everyone's always looking for vitas so we can get that in for a good price perfect awesome i'm excited um that's pretty much it for right now that's all the trade-ins that i can think of if anything else uh, comes up that I forgot or if I you know come across anything else I'll turn the camera back on and let you guys know what is going on all right guys so last minute trade just went down it's already like 7 30 we're here for a minute with this guy he pulled up he brought a bunch of clothes really good stuff honestly and I got it all right here in front of me I'm gonna go through it real quick show you guys what we got all right guys working on another hat so we got this crazy Superman piece on the changes tag he had a lot of really good vintage pieces it's just some of them he wanted a little bit more than what I would pay for it. And then some pieces, they were cool, but it was just like, they were just too simple. Cause especially like the market down here in Brownsville, the type of clothes we can sell, it's just, was just like different than what he brought in. A lot of these vintage pieces, they, I know for sure that they would move maybe up north or on Depop, eBay. But as far as like down here, inventory that we want in store, it's gotta be like, you know, cool graphics, big, uh, big, a big hit in the front, big hit in the back uh people really don't care about the tag down here they're, i mean obviously there are people that are into vintage down here and they know what's up but for the most part you know the, they don't really care if it's vintage or not but um we got some really cool pieces nonetheless on the changes tag size xl this one is crazy it's a big front hit only issue is it does have a hole down here but we're going to take care of that uh not the hole necessarily but just washing it getting an oxy uh making it clean and fresh for the next drop we got this crazy new england patriots on the bike tag uh, authentic pro line data 94 this one's a really nice crew neck then we got oh this is actually a different trade in these are not it where is it all right uh let me get these out of the way that's something else somebody else brought us those oh uh, we got this metallica uh shirt on the haynes heavyweight this isn't vintage but it's not modern either it's more like y2k these are like 07 or 09 07 so it's not like one of those like newer pieces i guess or it is but I mean, you know what i'm saying right so we got that one we got this vintage single dingle reba piece on the haynes ultraweight uh i just realized she comes out in young sheldon go ahead she this this chick comes out in young sheldon reba she's like one of the grandma's friends in young sheldon that's hilarious uh this one is single stitch I don't think this one is dated though. That's the only thing I have to check. But a real cool piece right there. Then we got this cool street Marvel T. This one is on the Delta Pro A tag size XL. This one's a really cool, cool piece. I don't think it's dated either. No, but it's a nice little street piece. Then we got this No Fear. This one is single stitch. This one is size, I want to say large. Yeah, large. As you can see, this one is single stitch. It says a No Fear on the front. And on the back, it says. At 200 miles per hour, you have no friends. Whatever that means. And then we got this Ozzy Osbourne piece on the Haynes Heavyweight as well. No date on it. Real sick piece. Then we got this 97 Stanley Cup Champion shirt. This one, it's sick. I just didn't see this. 
unfortunately, but it's whatever. It's got a hole, but I can't pick it up so you guys can really see the detail on that hole. It's pretty nasty, but it's whatever. It's still really nice graphic on the front. Big helmet, Detroit Red Wings, NHL. doesn't have a tag, but it is size large. It's got the main tag cut off. We got this Patrick Ewing piece. This one was just one of those lower dollar pieces. This one is super, super old. This is pre-champion, I guess. If you can see officially licensed product by champion. That's insane. Uh, no back end on this one, but still real cool. Single stitch piece. And then we got this Harley T. This one is single stitch as well. As you can see, nice little front hit. And this is the back. This one's cool. You got some holes, but gives a little bit of character. Bloomfield, New Jersey. Nice piece right here. I feel like we're missing two more pieces or something. All right, we got we got two more pieces. We got this wrestling tee protected by D Generation on the wrestling tag size XL. This one's a cool one. Nothing on the back. And then we got this Punisher tee on the changes tag. We laid off the. Nothing too crazy, just the punch logo on the front. 99 Marvel. If that focuses somehow. Let me see if I can get it to focus. 99, there you go. Real cool piece. Does have a little grease stain right here, which I'll take off hopefully fairly easily. Changes tag size large. That's pretty much the pickups from this little bundle. He said he'll be stopping by hopefully next week. So hopefully he brings us some more heat. So they said they'll keep an eye out. They'll pull up next week. And hopefully we can get some more stuff from them. Uh, it was a really good little bundle right there. Um, really good introduction for the, for that little deal. Hopefully we can do more business in the future. But that's pretty much it. That's all the stuff we got in so far. Uh, video game trade-ins, clothing trade-ins, stuff like that. Hopefully we get some more stuff in tomorrow. Hopefully we sell tomorrow. We're probably going to do like a story sell. Maybe get on whatnot. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. All right, guys, what's going on? Today is Friday the 19th. I am exhausted. It's already like 10-ish, 10.30 p.m. Uh, it was a pretty good day. We sold a lot of clothes. Uh, it was a really good day. Uh, sold games as well. Um, I don't think we had any trade-ins today, but uh, it was a lot of just sales. And uh, we got on whatnot around 5.30-ish, and we just finished. We sold a bunch of stuff, a lot of good stuff. We did a lot of bids. And we did some bundles as well so we did let go of a bunch of stuff for the low skis unfortunately but it's all good because we got people in the stream we get a lot of followers as well we were like at 20 followers and now we're like at 80 on whatnot which is really good and then somebody did drop like 300 bucks with us on bundles of puffers jerseys and uh crew neck so really good sales right there shout out to that guy that guy went off and then uh it, obviously as you can see it's a mess all over the floor Got a lot of stuff to organize. We're going to take care of that uh, as much as we can right now. And then we got all the clothes on this rack as well. As you can see, it's empty over here. But uh, we emptied out, uh, emptied out a lot of a lot of hangers. So now we can put more inventory out tomorrow. And then we just got to reorganize again and get back to it tomorrow. I don't think we're going to go live uh, just because we need to bring in some more pieces. But crazy day today. I don't really record that much because just I was just like too busy with all the video game stuff, putting stuff out and then uh, getting the clothes ready. We we're working on reels as well doing a Harley drop and then showing up, kind of introducing the $5 chest that we have. So we didn't really have time to, to record, but I'm gonna try to be more on top of it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, gonna call it there, exhausted, gonna clean this up, then go eat and then go home, sleep, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm probably gonna hit up uh, some garage sales, flea market, poncho, I don't know, we'll see what's up. We'll see how I feel, I might sleep in. I don't know, I'm exhausted. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Catch y'all tomorrow, peace. All right, what's going on guys here at the shop? It is Saturday, uh, I don't know how I can set this up. Today is Saturday the 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. Uh, got a bunch of stuff going on, a lot of packages to do. We've already done all this right here and then we still have a lot more pieces that I'm going through. It's kind of a mess. It's a little uh, hectic right now, but it's all good. Uh, I'm currently working on whatnot orders. I just finished all the eBay ones. We still have like three or four more, but those I need to get a box for and stuff like that. So I'm working on whatnot orders right now. Uh, this one sold. We got this one going on. This is one of the pieces. This is one of the pieces that sold. Nice little Bruins piece. It sold for 15 on whatnot. We did a bunch of like dollar stars, $10 stars, $5 stars. It was 
pretty good. A lot of good inventory sold. We sold a lot of the puffers as well. Everybody was going crazy on that app right now. Oh, yesterday, sorry. And then right now, Guy and Ebony are up in the front running another auction. We sold a bunch of stuff already, which has been pretty good, which is awesome. Um, just trying to keep up with the orders, stuff going out. Uh, we did get some trade-ins today. We got, we sold an original Xbox. Let's see, let me backtrack. We got, had a lot of sales today. We sold uh, Wavebird, Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild for the Switch. We sold uh, an original Xbox as well. And a bunch of really nice pieces. We sold one of the North Carolina Nike pieces. I don't know if I've shown that yet. Uh, if I haven't, I'll add some screenshots or uh, I'll just show you one of the pieces. We, have, we got two North Carolina, North Carolina pieces in. Very similar, very beautiful, old Nike. Um, I'll show you one of them just so you guys can see how I deal with the other one look like. But we sold one of them. We have one left. And then uh, we just got a huge video game trade-in. It was a bunch of filler, but it's good filler. And maybe like two or three good titles. Like we got Spider-Man 3, uh, Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 for the 360. And then we also got Transformers War for Cybertron or something like that. Or Fall of Cybertron, one of those two. Uh, but we got it this only. So, and that's also a really good title. So those are items we have to list ASAP. I'm going to go through them right now. And then we have a bunch of filler, like good filler that we need to fill up, that we need to fill up the shelves. So that's going to be going out later. I'll show you guys that once I'm done with here with all these packages. Whew. But um, yeah, it's been a pretty good, pretty good day so far. Bunch of sales, bunch of trade-ins. Um, did we get anything else? Oh yeah, we did get Godzilla for the GameCube. We also got, um, let, me, let me fix this up. Uh, got, we got Godzilla for the GameCube. We got Resident Evil Outbreak for the PS2. We got Silent Hill for the PS3 as well. And then we did get Silent Hill two for the ps2 but um it's um it's japanese uh it's complete in box that one goes for like around 40 ish which is insane and then we did get some godzilla uh figures as well we do not take in figures but the guy that brought brought all these in is a good buddy of mine and um he let him go for a good price and it's a price where we can make quick money so i was like why not and also the movie's coming up and stuff so everyone's gonna want uh godzilla stuff but um, yeah, it's been pretty good so far. Like I said, I'll highlight all the stuff when I get out there. I'll show you guys some of the trade-ins and some of the, uh, what's it called? Some of the sales from whatnot as well. We were selling a lot of stuff right now. It's been really good. We sold some leather jackets, some crew necks, some shirts. I think we sold one or two jerseys. Uh, but yeah, once I get out there, we'll be good to go. All right, guys, uh, it's about that time. It's already like nine o'clock. Uh, this is the whatnot aftermath. It is disgusting in here. We went off sold a bunch of stuff uh this whole pile right here is a bunch of whatnot orders insane sold a bunch of stuff uh, got a lot of packaging to do and then uh all these packages on the floor are going out as well and then we still need one big box from whatnot that's going out but i need to go get a box so we can package it up but um yeah we're pretty much done sold a bunch of stuff really good day really happy with how today went shoot um if you're in that whatnot live thank you appreciate you guys uh for joining showing us love support uh thank you to everyone that pulled up this week also uh whether you bought from us uh sold to us or traded with us really appreciate you guys oh we did get some last minute trading i'll go through them right now uh somebody pulled up from i think mccallan uh they came brought us some games to trade they took a bunch of champion jerseys uh let me go real quick and grab the games all right so we got this trading right here a bunch of like decent filler titles there's a few that pop out, like Spider-Man 3. I think that Madagascar Cards is worth a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. And then we got the Amazing Spider-Man 2 as well. And then we got a Transformers PS3 disc only game. But uh, really good titles right there. A lot of filler, which is really good. Oh, that Batman, Batman Arkham Origins is good as well. Uh, a lot of stuff we're going to go through tomorrow or Monday. Uh, but we got that trade-in. And then we did get some other trade-ins right here that's not really anything. Um, where is it? We also did get a Zelda game for the Switch. So we got these uh, for repair, for parts of repair. We got this Godzilla game right here. No manual, unfortunately. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe with uh, My Hero 2. We got Silent Hill, the HD collection for the PS3. We got Resident Evil Outbreak for the PS2. Then we got Silent Hill 2 for the PS2 Japanese. That's insane. That one goes for like 40 bucks. And then we got these two in right now. Uh, we got these two. They traded these in for some champion jerseys. And then they put some cash on top. Crazy. These are both complete. This one, uh, the Tenkachi has some minor uh, creasing on the manual. But nothing crazy. We'll fix that. But crazy, man. Crazy we got these two in today. Uh, we got in a bunch of, like, banger titles in. Uh, 
but we we sold most of them already. We sold NCAA football, no basketball, ten. We sold uh, what's it called, Fifty Cent Blood on the Sand as well. A bunch of titles. I don't even think I mentioned in the video. We packaged them up today, but um, yeah, it's been pretty crazy week. Thank you to everyone again. Uh, thanks for watching the video. That's it for today. Uh, we're gonna be posting consistently now. Yeah, I'm gonna be on top of it. Uh, this week is gonna be posted hopefully by Sunday or Monday. But um, yeah, check out the videos. Check out our Instagram. Links are down in the description below. If you guys see anything you like throughout the video or you know on our Instagram, whatever, let us know. Shoot us a DM. We do offer shipping through Instagram or we do have eBay as well. Uh, we offer free shipping through eBay. So check us out. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bro's wearing my Buccaneers hat. What is you? We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.